Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and these are the ABC blocks. ABC blocks are three magnetic blocks with the letters A, B and C on them. So the canonical challenge is to make the pattern ABC. And there's only, even though there are lots of A's and B's and C's, there's only one way that you can solve this. So if you scramble the blocks and then uh, don't look and then you start uh, solving, then okay, the A has a magnet to the B, but then when you want try to connect the C, there is magnetic repulsion and it doesn't uh, work. So this was the challenge, but uh, I thought, well, can't we make it into um, a more playful thing? So uh, here is uh, actually uh, the same puzzle, but now as a two-player game. So the way it works is that uh, you have these dice with A, B and C. You put them into the glass and start shaking. And there we have our challenge. So A, A and C. Let me sol see whether I can solve this challenge. Ah. I'm lucky, this one magnets, then let's see, the letter C, okay, this repels, this one repels as well, so maybe uh, this A and A doesn't work, yeah, and yes, I have solved it. So, and after I have solved uh, one challenge, then of course uh, I can shake it for uh, my partner, maybe I take uh, uh, the other pattern, so the, the, the V-shaped pattern, again, shaking. And now the challenge is to do something with AAB. So let's try again. The puzzle is not extremely difficult, but uh, it's very instructive, uh, especially for children, to learn, um, well, um, systematically, try, uh, trial and error, and uh, not to repeat uh, too many times. Of course, I'm an experienced puzzle solver, so I solve them uh, typically in a couple of seconds. Sometimes it takes a bit longer. But uh, I guess this uh, game could be made uh, with an hourglass that counts maybe 15 seconds or 30 seconds or so. I'm really happy with this prototype, so let me first, uh, let me also show you some of my earlier prototypes. I thought, let's uh, try 3D printed wood. So it's the same puzzle, but now with uh, the 3D printed wood. And the additional challenge here is that uh, it's very hard that once you uh, swap the uh, cubes, it's hard to keep track which one is uh, which. So that was uh, a way of doing that. And instead of maybe rolling uh, wooden dice, um, another uh, approach is that uh, you have these A, B, C and that your opponent just makes a challenge for you like A and then a C and then the opponent says okay this is your challenge and that you play this way against each other. But uh, uh, personally I like the dice, uh, by the way the dice were an idea by uh, George Miller, I like the dice much better. Another uh, version that I made was this wooden version and uh, the difference with the previous one is uh, here there were six layers and I've glued the thing together and these are actually solid 3D printed wood and the way that this worked is that I uh, um, had the 3D printer printed layer by layer stop, put in the magnet, uh, more printing, more stop, again the magnets in more printing and then, uh, well, uh, finishing, uh, finishing it off. So it, uh, the result is uh, very aesthetically uh, pleasing. It's a bit more work to, uh, to construct, but uh, it looks uh, very nice. The placement of the magnets, uh, these are these used uh, 20 by 20 by 3 millimeter magnets, was quite a challenge. So when I uh, assembled uh, this uh, one, um, I suffer, several times I suffered the Kessler syndrome, that is, uh, well, that's when satellites collide in uh, the sky. But anyway, uh, I was placing the magnets and everything was glued in place and then suddenly I dropped the magnet, I mean, 
it's very easy to do. And then all the ma other magnets came loose and I had a lot of uh, gooey and, uh, um, well, glue on my hand. So that, uh, that didn't work uh, well. But after several attempts I found a method uh, how to get these uh, heavy duty magnets in. Another prototype that I've uh, made is uh, with these uh, dies. They have a magnetic marble in it and the idea was that uh, for making the challenge instead of the shaking with the glass you throw one magnet and then you throw the other and there you have your challenge. And of course uh, it works but uh, it feels a bit awkward. And there's also uh, um, that you sometimes have cases where um, it's not really clear what is uh, the goal. Is it this one or that one? So the, the, just the rolling and shaking of the dice worked much better, but at least it was uh, fun to, uh, to do it uh, like this as well. One final remark is that you may ask, can you make every challenge? So um, any random combination, is it solvable? The answer is yes, and that's thanks to George Miller. He wrote a computer program that uh, tested for me whether the design, whether everything was solvable. Of course, for my first design, we found several uh, challenges that were not, not solvable. But after a lot of uh, changing and uh, placing magnets, we found uh, a design where there is uh, the canonical ABC is the hardest challenge and has only one solution. Um, but all the combinations are solvable. Some of them have only one solution, others have like uh, 10 or 15 solutions. So some of them uh, are easier uh, and others are harder. I have the feeling that this would be uh, make a nice product for in the toy shop. And uh, probably it works already for young children who can recognize the pattern and the color. And it could be uh, for a young age still adults. So my question to you is, uh, how would you advertise this? What would be the youngest age that this uh, puzzle would uh, be appropriate for? Thank you for watching.